if you think people don't respect you and you're coming from this lowly place where like nobody respects me, all this stuff, then that's going to translate into your words and your thoughts and your actions and it's going to become self-fulfilling. Now the same applies for this rustiness concept. Guys will go out and they'll think, oh, you know, I'm so rusty, I'm so rusty, uh, so I'm just going to get rejected. And they're rejecting themselves, okay? They're basically causing all these subcommunications to communicate that they think they're not good enough and that they're going to get rejected. They telegraph that. And then it's really easy for the girl to be like, Pff. and then that comes back to them and they confirm their mistaken belief. Oh yeah, it's because I was rusty. I need another like month or two to get back into this. And they're going around for that month or two that they, or whatever time duration that they've assumed is like the rusty period, okay? And they're self-handicapping during that time. Hey everybody, welcome to John Anthony Lifestyle. I am John Anthony. Today we're gonna to talk about getting rusty at game, okay? Is this a true thing or is this a myth? Okay, is it possible to get rusty for your skill level to decline as you take time off from doing dating and seduction and pickup? Okay, before we continue, please press the subscribe button below, press the notification bell as well so that you are alerted to every new video Sunday through Thursday as well as my YouTube lives Sunday at 4 p.m. So, do we get rusty, okay? I view this game, the seduction and dating game, as a skill game, okay? I've said that in a lot of videos. It is a skill game. I think it has very clear rules and strategy and structure, just like chess, just like poker, okay? Just like real-time strategy games like StarCraft. There's very clear things to learn, okay? And once you learn them, you know how to play the game properly, okay? So, in my view, rustiness is not a thing, okay? I've taken months off from the game and I come back and I'm still able to crush it as if I never had stopped, okay? If you took a poker player that was making millions of dollars and you're like, okay, here, go on a vacation for three months, okay, and then he comes back, it's not like just because he wasn't playing poker all the time that all of a sudden his abilities are gonna have dropped off a bunch, okay, and he's gonna be doing a lot worse at poker. He still knows how to do the winning strategy, how to structure things properly, and he knows what it takes to place high and have a high skill level. I see this all the time on the forums. Guys think that if they take time off, okay, lots of guys are like afraid to get in a relationship because they're like, oh, if I take time off, my game is gonna fall apart, right? Or they think they need to be actively gaming on the side even when they have a monogamous girlfriend because they wanna like keep their sword sharp or whatever the, the phrase is. They wanna like keep their craft honed, okay? I can guarantee you that myself and, and many others that have a very advanced level of skill have taken time off and come back in and still been able to crush it, okay? I've stressed this is not about a thousand nights out, it's not about a thousand approaches. It's about knowing the correct information and then being able to execute it. Another important concept is that you don't want to make this like your alter ego. You don't want to make this like your your little like pickup or seducer persona, okay? Guys all too often fall into the trap of like, okay, time to put on my like I'm this, I'm this other guy now, time to put on my pickup character, right? And I'm gonna go out and do my approaching and, and you know, say these fancy things and do these gimmicky things. I teach that you need to embody this, not only as a lifestyle, okay, but it needs to be who you are. So when I see a hot girl, whether it be at the supermarket or at a bar or club, or I'm swiping on Tinder or whatever and I see her online, I know exactly what to do, exactly what to say, how to move things forward, how to deal with whatever comes up, okay, properly and optimally. That's what I teach guys in my live programs and in my digital products, okay? And I wanna stress again, these programs are filling up, okay, there's very limited spots left. Here's the link up here, and we will put on the screen for the live programs, there's gonna be two weekends in Las Vegas, and then we're gonna do a weekend in LA, and then Miami Beach, and then New York City, and then London, okay? So make sure you email me at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com if you are interested in joining any of these live programs. Like the inner game that I teach, the internal mindset that I teach is that your value is at 100 out of 100 of your potential, okay? If a girl rejects you, there, there should be a brick wall here. So a girl rejects you, boom, stays at 100, okay? Multiple girls reject you, boom, stays at 100. People make fun of you, boom, stays at 100. It doesn't mean you should be oblivious, right? It doesn't mean you should be walking around unshowered and, and dressed like shit and all this stuff and be like, I'm at 100 out of 100, like, I have this brick wall here, like, 
I don't give a shit what you think about me. No, you should still try to look your best and be your best self, okay, in all the different areas that entails. But at the same token, you're not putting on this little alter ego, right? You're not, you don't need to go to the club and do warm ups and all this stuff and build up a state like lots, lots of other companies teach. Okay, I go over that in my video here, the myth around state and warming up, okay? You should just be boom, ready to go because that's who you are. You are the high value guy. You are the desirable guy. You don't need to switch into Spider-Man costume and go out to the clubs and bars and all of a sudden you're this different guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so that ties in to the notion of getting rusty, okay? If this high value guy is able to deploy this skill set at any time, right? Does it matter if he's not deploying it for weeks or months? I don't think it does. It's just who you are, right? You're this guy that's capable of making things happen, that's capable of being the life of the party, of attracting hot women, of commanding presence, of leading both men and women, okay? Of having people respect you. Okay, all this stuff is to get to the best version of yourself. But taking time off, so to speak, it's not like, you know, you can't still be flirting with girls and stuff like that if you're in a relationship or if you're taking a break from the game. All right, but it's not like all of a sudden you forget all the proper strategy. Most of you don't know the proper strategy to begin with. Okay, that's why you need a live program with me or to take my digital course and those links will be in the description below. One caveat here that I will admit to, we have these neuronal pathways in our brain. That's how our neurons communicate. We have these pathways and they're kind of like river trenches. Okay, and they're a function of frequency and recency. So if you are practicing something more often and it has been more recent, then that path will be a lot deeper and it'll be easier for those neurons to communicate because you've built it up, okay? So by taking time away, that is gonna weaken those a little bit, but it's gonna come right back as soon as you start doing it again. And on top of that, speaking from a neuroscience standpoint, as you build up these, what they call heuristics, which is basically cognitive shortcuts, okay? It's bypassing your consciousness, allowing for unconscious automatic processing as you become an expert more and more so in a certain area, you're going to have these automatic heuristics, okay? And you're gonna be able to, even with time off, you're gonna be able to quickly circumvent having to do any conscious processing about what to do in a situation. So that's another reason to master this and get really good at the game. So I hope this was helpful. I just wanted to address this because I see all the time on the forums, guys are like, oh, I took some time off, so therefore I'm rusty. And again, a lot of this stuff becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you think that you're low value, you're gonna go to the club and be like, oh, you know, hey, can I meet you? And you don't believe in yourself, so why is the girl gonna believe in you? I've used the analogy before, if you were trying to sell a car, if you were a car salesman, and the car was like, you know, all beat up and rusty, and you're like, yeah, this car is okay, I guess. Like, what do you think, do you want it? And the people are like, fuck no, right? If you don't believe in your own product, then the girls aren't gonna believe in it either, okay? So it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy if you think people don't respect you and you're coming from this lowly place where like nobody respects me, all this stuff, then that's gonna translate into your words and your thoughts and your actions and it's gonna become self-fulfilling. Now the same applies for this rustiness concept. Guys will go out and they'll think, oh, you know, I'm so rusty, I'm so rusty, uh, so I'm just gonna get rejected. And they're rejecting themselves, okay? They're basically causing all these subcommunications to communicate that they think they're not good enough and that they're gonna get rejected. They telegraph that, and then it's really easy for the girl to be like, Pff. and then that comes back to them and they confirm their mistaken belief. Oh yeah, it's because I was rusty. I need another like month or two to get back into this. And they're going around for that month or two that they, or whatever time duration that they've assumed is like the rusty period, okay? And they're self-handicapping during that time. And then finally after a month or two, they get rid of those mindsets and they're back closer to their full potential. All right, don't self-handicap yourself, and I'll make a whole separate video about all the different ways guys are self-handicapping themselves. You are your own worst enemy in this, okay? You need to believe in yourself, you need to get trained properly, but you need to believe in yourself and not let these negative behaviors and negative thoughts turn into ruining your game, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you found this video helpful to press the like button below. Make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell if you have not already subscribed. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.